What's going on Fit Fam? This is Walt from Fulcrum Fitness. This is the Fulcrum 5, our warm up every day. Number one, we're gonna be doing a forward lunge. So go ahead and take that forward lunge, try to get the back knee down as close as you can to the ground, and then we're gonna to rotate towards that forward leg. So stay up nice and tall, rotate the torso, reach with the arms, and then go ahead and push yourself back. Go ahead and switch sides back and forth. Once again, stand up nice and tall. Good tall posture, taking your time, getting to your body. Let's go ahead and switch back and forth. Should be getting a little bit of a stretch, stretch in that back hip flexor, maybe a little bit in those shoulders. Also, when you're taking that lunge, try to make sure that knee is directly above that ankle. That way we're keeping those knees safe. Ooh. Ooh. Legs are feeling good. Let's go ahead and do one more on each side. Right, now for the second one, very similar to the first one, now we're gonna be doing a reverse lunge. So take that big step back. Once again, we're trying to get that back knee as close as we can to the ground. Still gonna rotate that towards that leg, but now rotate and reach with that opposite arm. Trying to get some hip flexor, some obliques, some lats. Take a moment or two, come back up, switch those sides. Again, taking it nice and slow. Focus on that good posture. Get as deep as you can. Give you a little side angle. Knee above that ankle. Big long reach. Last one. All right, coming up next, this one we call tip and touch. You're gonna want a slight bend with that knee, and then we wanna get our hips and shoulders nice and square. Before we get started, I like to roll those shoulder blades back, thumbs going back towards the wall, and then we got that slight bend in the knee, hinge in the hips, and then when you come back up, try to kick that leg forward and switch. Slight bend, hinge in the hips. Really good test of that balance. Okay, back and forth there. Should be feeling some hamstrings. Get that good stretch in the bottom. And kick. All right, if you're having some trouble with this balance, or sometimes this helps to put your hands on your low back, and that way you can concentrate on keeping those hips square. Switch. Feel those hamstrings, feel those glutes. All right, number four is gonna be an inchworm to Hindu push-up. So reach up to the sky, take a big breath. You're gonna fall out onto that plank position, wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and lower right down to the floor, rest on the ground. Go ahead and push that upper body back up, leaving our knees on the floor, take a moment. And exhale up into that down dog. Hold for another moment there. Push yourself back up. Reach up to the sky. Here's our side angle. Rock it on down. Bend the knees if you need to. Wrist under the shoulder. Nice and slow down. Upper body back up. Let's knock out one more. Big breath up. Walk it on out. Nice and slow. Strong shoulders walking back. All right. Last one is everybody's favorite. So we're going to be doing bear crawls. What you want to do, you're going to drop down into what's called quadruped stance. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And then from there, we're gonna be doing one arm and the opposite leg. So, short choppy steps, small little reach, keeping our hips and our shoulders square. Couple forward, couple going back. A lot of times the back one is gonna be a lot more challenging. 
So just be mindful of that. Try to keep those hips, keep those shoulders nice and square. Should be a good challenge for you. Great y'all, and that's the Fulcrum 5. Have a great workout.